Okay, this is a short end to the course. This is unit five. There are four lessons in unit five. So activity one is the first one. It's just introductions to fluids and it's just trying to get you to think about what fluids are. Liquids can flow and take the shape of a container. If you put a solid into a container, it cannot flow and it does not change its shape to take the shape of the container. No matter what shape of container you have, liquids will change their shape to um, fill or take the shape of that container. Now, gases are different than liquids in that they will spread out. If you put a small amount of gas in a container, the gases will spread out and they will fill the container. The liquids will only fill the container if you add more to it. With gases, they will go through something called diffusion where the particles bounce off of each other and they will eventually fill up the container. Now, the kinetic molecular theory um, explains all of this. All particles are constantly vibrating, whether they're gases, liquids, or solids. Solids vibrate in a single plane, and they have strong, um, they have strong forces holding them together. They cannot move out of their plane. Uh, liquids are strongly held together, but they can slide over top of each other. So this explains why they can flow. Now there is one calculation you have to be able to do in U5A1, uh, back to grade nine, a little bit of review of density. Density is mass over volume. Um, so for example, if we're looking at density, if we take the density of air, air weighs 1.29 kilograms for every meter cubed of air that we have. Water is much more dense at a thousand kilograms per meter cubed. That's, that's a lot of mass for one meter cubed of water. Water is fairly dense. Um, an average metal might have a density of 5,000 kilograms per meter cubed. Please watch a video on density if you're a little shaky on what it is. Um, I think it's important to have a good grasp of this for hydraulics and pneumatics. We can also take this formula and rearrange it and take mass equals density times volume and volume equals uh, mass over density. In the very last part of the content for this activity, you will have to be able to do these three types of calculations. So please practice those.